I figured I would take this chance to talk about mushrooms. So, um, I don't know if, if you know about mushrooms, they're delicious. Uh, most of them. These ones, very good. These ones are not so good. Um, these ones make you very sick. <laughs> so, I worked on a project um, in a machine learning class once. So, our final project was anything. And me and my group, um, we were like, yo, let's make uh, a machine learning algorithm that translates people as they talk. Uh, oh, let's do this or whatever. And then the tallest guy said, no, let's do a thing with mushrooms. And we all went, yeah, tall guy. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, he's like, I like hiking, I like eating mushrooms. I want to pick my own mushrooms. So what we had to do is create, uh, we created a neural network, which we will talk about actually in like three slides. Um, and it's just a machine learning model. Again, a word I will find soon. And we pump in pictures of mushrooms until the thing goes like, okay, I know what a mushroom is. <laughs> and, uh, and eventually you get to like give it a picture and it'll tell you what kind of mushroom it is. But we called it my shroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> now, my job was collecting the data set, um, which is just as exciting as you think it might be. Now, there is a thing called ImageNet.org. So ImageNet is, it's like the Wikipedia of, um, of images when it comes to like labels and data sets. So I can say dog, and ImageNet will give me what, what it calls sin sets, which are these, uh, these hierarchies of, of pictures and how they relate to each other. So this is the sin set of domestic dogs. And I can download the whole thing, it's pretty big, and it'll show me See, dog lives inside of, it's pretty small, the text, but it'll say dog lives inside a domestic animal, which lives inside a work animal, um, invertebrate animal, fungus is over here, I spent a lot of time in there. <laughs> um, so, you know, you can download the whole thing, and it'll show you, like, it gets more and more specific as it goes down. You, you know, this is the sunset for Newfoundland dogs. Honestly, I really like going through this website and just seeing all the pictures there are. There are tons of pictures. They're all user labeled, um, and it's just a huge project of like gathering images across the internet and putting them in one place. So when it came to fungus, when it came to mushrooms, um, at the time, it's a little different now. This would have only been like two years ago. Um, there were not very many labeled pictures of mushrooms. So we cared specifically about like types of mushrooms because we wanted to like identify types. Not just say this is a mushroom, but tell you like this is an Amelia muscaria. So what I had to do was I had to go to Google Images. I Googled mushroom and I just like scroll and just go like down and down and down and down. And I would like manually download the things and then I wrote a script that would download everything. But these are mushrooms. If I go down here, this guy is like not necessarily a mushroom. Like, there's still mushrooms over here, but there were like many pictures of, of things that were not mushrooms. Like, how am I supposed to say what type of, what type of mushroom this is? It might be four different mushrooms put into like this delicious risotto here. Like, so, so I had to by hand say like, delete this, right? Cleaning data, right? Um, I want to give like a real life example. My favorite mushroom that wasn't a mushroom that I can't find anymore <laughs> Campbell's soup. <laughs> um, I had no joke. Okay, so it's a picture of Jesus, right? <laughs> and he's got like his arms spread out like this. And this was not even on Google Images. Like it was inside of ImageNet. Like it was here, right? And he was again. <laughs> I'll leave it up for effect. But like <laughs> Uh, Jesus had his arms out like this, and he was wearing like a red kind of robe, right? And the bottom part of his robe was like white. And there were a couple people in like white robes, branching up like this. So it looked like a mushroom. It looked like, <laughs> it looked like, you know, didn't look like a Campbell's soup. It looked more like an Amanita muscaria, which I, I can't find out. There you go. It looked exactly like this. <laughs> So I found Jesus and I pulled him out of my data set. <laughs> um, 
yeah, so there you go. That's that's what cleaning data is useful for. Um, hopefully you have the same kind of you know very fun experience that I had. <laughs>